I'm going to test out three different 4mm stackable banana plug kits. All three come from Amazon. And I'll start with the cheapest. These are the, I'll say, Sumnicon 39 inch multimeter test lead set. They were $11. And there are five pieces, so a bit over $2 each. They're colorful, but the wires have a cheap feel to them. Well, kind of to be expected. The hook clips actually feel pretty good. A lot better than I was expecting. A little sloppy on the wire going into the yellow clip. That would not pass the 500 volt rating listed in the ad. Decent looking spring on the plug. They are fully molded. Not my favorite, but they are $2, so not bad. Snug and smooth for the plug and jack portion. Hook clips have a good grip. Let's see what the wire problem is. The wires are spot welded in the hook clip and not near enough of the strands are welded. I'll have to see if that can be soldered without melting the plastic. Looks like there's an eyelet to solder to. That will have to be fixed. Maybe a third of the strands are connected? Let me look at another one. This one much better. Almost all of the strands of wire connected. Wires are thin. Listed as 22 gauge, that's probably about right. Thinner strands than regular hookup wire. So that is very nice. I guess that is what the wire description of soft PVC means. I don't think soft and PVC go together as a description for wire insulation. Overall, they are cheap at $2.20 for each cable. The stackable banana plugs look decent. Seem to be pretty well formed springs on the end of the plugs. The hook clips feel well above the cheap level. The wire not being properly attached to that hook clip is a big negative but one that can be fixed. The wires are thin and kind of flexible. Cheap feeling is a reasonable description. Are they worth $2.20 each? Sure, I'd give them a good rating and bang for the buck. Overall quality? Poor. If that wire wasn't messed up, would have said fair, just on the feel of the hook clips. Would I buy again? That's probably a 50-50. This is a five color set of four millimeter stackable banana plugs. Cost was $12. There are 10 pieces, two of each color, so $1.20 a plug. Now these are shrouded banana plugs. The shroud is thin and I've had no problem using them on any jacks made for shrouded plugs. But do a double check and make sure the jacks you're going to plug into can accept shrouded plugs. Nice solid feeling plug. Fairly smooth finish. These are made for the lead wire to solder to, so no set screw, which I really kind of prefer. Springs look pretty good. Thicker metal for the spring than the last plugs looked at. Overall, not bad looking. The shells are reasonably thick and are supposed to be nylon. The plug is a nice solid fit in the shell. Nicely formed tabs on the shell. They snap together to form a solid filling plug. They're not going to come apart in normal use. Overall, at $1.20 a plug, I would say that's a fair price. I would say quality is closer to good than fair. Would I buy them again? Yes, I would. And intend to. 
Next up is the, I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's spelled G-O-U-P-C-H-N, five-piece banana plug silicon test lead kit. It was $29, a bit under $6 for each, but each is really four items. Packs of accessory stuff here. Cables have a quality feel to them. Very nice feeling plug and what feels like a silicon wire. A nice size silicon wire as well. A snap together plug which I do like better than the molded ones. So so molding definition. Some spade to banana plug adapters. Reasonably thick metal. Alligator clip adapters. Not as nice feeling as everything else so far. Some very sharp pointed tips to banana plug adapters with threaded on tips. The tip thread is M2.5 and comes with 10 replacement tips. The alligator clips are the cheapest feeling items in this kit, made of really thin metal. The wire is very nice feeling and very flexible, almost assuredly silicon. At $5.80 a wire set, not cheap, but it's a fair price. Three feet of nice thick silicon wire, Ad says 14 gauge, attached to some good solid feeling shrouded banana plugs. The really weak spot in this kit is the alligator clips. If a good alligator clip is top priority, probably want to skip this kit. This is not the alligator clip you are looking for. No, really, it's not. But if it's the banana to banana cables that are of the utmost importance, then I think you will be happy with these. I am. The premium price for these is for the thicker silicon wire. Holding it in one's hands, feels like you have something of substance. For quality, I would give it a good rating. I'm pretending the alligator clips don't exist. Would I buy these again? Yes. I'll do a more in-depth look at each of the items after I've used them a bit. If you're interested in more info about one of the kits, stay tuned. And hitting that subscribe button will make that easy. Thank you for watching.